And there's no doubt during those days that the Spirit of the Living God did uh, His work. And despite the uh, sinning uh, feelings of Jason Waller about Sundays, you know, as the days to get past before you start enjoying yourself at music school. Um, and then, of course, the build up to the emotional devotional, uh, which always took place on the, one of the evenings. and. Uh, was, uh, was interesting, but uh, what, what we didn't realize was that, um, you know, the, the kind of space for God through the school happened in ways that God uh, decided. Could have even been through the rehearsals, or the fellowships, or through one-to-one -one conversations that took place, as people um, spoke about things that were troubling them, or, or whatever. God, God has got this amazing way of just creating space amongst a group of people. And uh, he's quite capable of uh, doing that without anybody organising it, which I think is a, an amazing thing, really. Um, and uh, I, I think it would be true to say that the Spirit of God did fall on us a number of times during, during those years. And to hear one or two testimonies this evening, that that's, that's remained the case. And that some of those spiritual journeys began during those, during those years. And for those of us that were involved in any kind of leadership of the thing, that was really a, a, an enormous privilege for us. Fellowship's an interesting thing, and uh, I, I was thinking about what, what to say very, very briefly this evening, because we, we've all come together for the day, from our different walks of life, from our different parts of the world even, and uh, I, I just thought, well, there's one verse that I could, I could share. It's in Acts chapter 2, and it speaks about the richness of the fellowship of the early church, and I'm just going to read the, the verse, it's verse, uh, chapter 4 and verse 32. And it says, the whole congregation of believers was united as one, one heart and one mind. And what, what's been interesting to me today is that I guess it's tw 22 years since we, we, we left uh, these parts and uh, had our last music school. And here we are 22 years down the road. We all get together in, the, in this place for the dead. And you know those things where you meet people? Pick the friendships and the fellowship as if, as if you, you were with each other yesterday. And, and today has been that kind of day. Um, just as soon as we've connected and as soon as people have connected with each other, something kind of happens in, in the group. And I've heard one or two people say, oh, we'll have to do this again before the next 22 years. We'll have to do it over a weekend. And some people have, you know... And in cruises and goodness knows what. I mean, it could, could, could go anywhere this way. Really. It's, uh, it's quite a remarkable thing. But what, what, what's remarkable about it, in the context of the spirit of the living God, is that 22 years is a long time for people to journey. And I think it was Stuart that was making a point a little earlier about, about faith's journey. And the journey is taking people in different directions. And I imagine there might have been one or two people coming to them a little bit nervous. Because maybe, maybe they, you know, maybe you don't go to church, or maybe you've, you know, drifted away, or whatever it might be. But um, I, I reckon we've come, to, come together today, and uh, it doesn't really matter in a sense, because somehow we, we've connected. And that, that was always how church was supposed to be. I can, always, I, I can always remember when I was a core officer somewhere, Somebody, somebody came to join, join the call that we were in. And I, I asked a really daft question. I, I asked the guy, so how are you fitting in here? And uh, the gentleman says, oh, yeah, fine, it's okay. You know, we're getting used to it and getting used to all the ways of you know, this particular place. It's, you know, it's lovely. And when I was reflecting on that conversation, I thought, it's totally the wrong question. And I, and I think one of the, one of the challenges really for us is that uh, the church isn't the place where people fit in. It's almost, we're say, it's, it's almost as if we're saying to people, this is the way that we think. This is the way that we do things. This is the, these are the rules that we have. And if you belong, you've got to fit into our box. But as I, as I reflect on those verses from Acts, What's actually happening there is that somehow God is fitting people together. And the good news is that Jesus came actually for people that don't fit in. For people that feel a bit nervous. For people that perhaps don't feel good enough. 
For people who perhaps feel that they've let God down, or themselves down, or other people down. People for whom things might have gone wrong. People who actually feel on the outside of things. And, and it's to those people that the church is supposed to be good news for. Because when, when, when people fit together, you don't have to do all the changing and adjusting. Because you're here, we want to adjust too. Because we, we want to show you what God's like. And the ultimate fitting together took place on the cross. When God made all the adjustments and died for us to show us how people and God could really fit together. God was broken. God suffered. God was alone. God was the outsider. Religion rejected. All so that people could fit together. I hope there's been a little bit of that in our fellowship today. That somehow, as a kind of a disparate group of people after 22 years or more, somehow we feel God calling us. Not only to fit together with, with each other, which is brilliant. It's been such a privilege to be here today for Alison and I. It's been brilliant. But to fit together with God. And just to allow God to remind us that he loves us. He loves us. And that he would go to the ends of the earth to be our friend. I hope you'll be able to continue to think about that. Because that's really what today is all about. Spirit of the living God. Fall afresh on me. So here's the school. They're going to bring you a final song. And a song called Lord of All. And uh, after the song, there'll be a, a brief pause, and the band are going to bring to us their, their epic number at the end of the, uh, the end of the evening, which is called Celebration. And we're going to go on our way with uh, those words from English. But uh, just reflect on what we've been saying as we listen to the school unite, and uh, we're going to sing this wonderful song to you, Lord of All.